All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhakwadash, for the Spirit to do this lesson. Shalom. Uh, double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the men of the Lord, prophesying, preaching, and teaching on the highways and byways in sincerity and in truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Uh, and uh, I want to go in here, man. As, as I'm reading through today, I got a little bit more time. Uh, you know everybody's on the so-called Christmas break um, I'm reading through these articles man and you can just see the mirth of this place just evaporating man like Lord willing this continues heavy heavy into 2021 um, which we which we know it will be but you know it's, it's always a blessing to be able to see these things come out just to see the scriptures unfold man uh, you can see in this headline here it says in heavily locked down uh, San Francisco 360% more people died from overdoses than the crown royal <laughs> so you know this is esau this is the curse is coming back on esau before real quick i had some other precepts lined up but i just thought of one that's the i believe that's deuteronomy 30 and 7. um let me get that real quick it says and the lord jehovah thy power will put all these Deuteronomy 30 and 7, And the Lord, Jehovah, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Right? And the reason that came to mind is because, you know, back in the uh, back in the 80s, in the 90s, you know, they had just something called the D.A.R.E. program where they would just tell Jake, man, you know, like, just say no, you know? <laughs> you know, there's crack going through your neighborhoods. <coughs> you know, Jake, they couldn't pay their rent. You know, they were poor. They couldn't get hired like that, you know. And so we, all Jake had to rely on was basically uh, moving weight, drugs, you know, gangs, that type of thing. And come to find out, Esau Edom is the one who put the goddamn drugs in the neighborhood to begin with, man. You know, and, and, and what, what did he tell us? He said, all you got to do is say no and pull yourself up by the bootstraps. And now that... uh this company called Purdue has released something called Oxycontin that basically kicked off the opioid, the opioid epidemic, the opioid crisis. Now what is he saying? Like, oh, now we all got to do something to help them, you know? You know, like they're saying Purdue, they shouldn't have, they should have checked those drugs before they pushed them out on, out on the market. You know, they're wrong for that. But see, back in the day, they didn't say that, they didn't say that uh, Esau was wrong for putting crack in the neighborhoods. They just told us to just say no, put yourself up by your bootstraps, you know, figure it out, nigga, basically. And now look what's happened, you know, and, and, and this whole crown roll in 19, these lockdowns, it's amplifying this thing tenfold, man. This is this right here, this guy laid out, this needle. <laughs> hey, that's Esau Edom, man, you know. Let's read a little bit of it. It says, stay, stay home, save lives. This is the mantra of, Cal of many Californians have repeatedly lived by for the last 10 months as their governor instituted some of the most draconian measures in the country. Draconian, that's a heavy word, because we know that's in the scriptures in uh, Revelation, which goes back to uh, Draco, which was a uh, which was a Greek, uh, I believe he was a Greek statesman who, uh, who was passing laws, you know, and, and very uh, harsh edicts. It says, uh, watching their economy turn to shambles and thousands of businesses close their doors forever is making some folks grow weary of crown royal lockdowns and rightfully so earlier this month the san francisco the city of san francisco issued an order shutting down outside play for kids at playgrounds seriously <laughs> even dating even dating is banned unless it's done masked <laughs> so hey everything good about this place everything that people wanted all oh, jake wanted to hold on to you know restaurants you know, dating, partying, and bullshitting, going to clubs, uh, 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 you know, watching TV, going to concerts, you know, all the bread and circus nonsense, it's all being ripped away. Unless it's done masked, it said, outside and kiss free. <laughs> so you can't even, you can't even kiss your woman, you know. That, hey, hey, this place is ridiculous, man. Let's get a couple of these scriptures real quick. This is uh, Isaiah 24, and I'm going to start at 4. It says, The earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languish, languisheth and, the, and fadeth away. 
the haughty people of the earth do languish. America, the Americans are the most haughty people, man. They're so prideful. You know, he was out at the camp the other day. You just see the countenance on these women's face, man. They're just, they're just full of pride. You know, they don't even look that good. You know, their 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 hair is all fake. The only reason they get attention is because they're wearing tight clothes. And 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 it's just it's ridiculous, man. They're out of order. <laughs> and that's typical of American. Where did Eve get that from? This this the culture of this place. Listening to her new man uh, Esau who she's uh, in bed with. Because <clears throat> Eve, Eve is really a bed wench to, to Esau these days, man. That, that's what she's become. Verse 5, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. So if you kept the law, man, none of this would be happening. But we know this place is run by Esau Edom, and he's incapable of keeping the law. So therefore, this is what you get, chaos, confusion, and, and ultimately death. Verse 6, Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. Because th there are no real men. The only real men left is, is, is basically the Israelites, man. And even among them, you got to watch out some of them. You do have uh, some guys that are part of what you told, the so-called red pill movement, who they got a little bit of more knowledge. They're, a little bit, uh, they're, they're more manly than comparison to the rest of the men but even that's a small remnant of guys on the internet consider themselves high value men or whatever well eventually they're those guys are not even going to be men because when all hell breaks loose fully 100 percent the only men they're going to be left are the israelites the elect specifically <laughs> all right but but basically outside of that right now man you just you got a bunch of uh uh cucks and and you know undesirables basically that's that's what this that's that's the fruit of Babylon. That's what this place has has yielded. All of the men are gone, and the and the women are overmasculated, talking over you, you know, talking shit, getting getting aggressive or violent. Violent. They'll put their hands on you, you know. They'll, they'll have a baby by another man, and make you think it's yours, you know. Just just unthinkable uh, wickedness, man. All, all because why they changed they change the ordinance and broken the everlasting covenant. So when you change the ordinance and you let women get do whatever the hell they want and you don't raise men to be men, this is what you get. Verse 7, the new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, and all the merry hearted to side. Because these guys in San Francisco, man, I already know they're like, well, what the hell? You got homeless people shitting on the streets, literally. You got needles all over the place. You're trying to walk your kid down the street and it's just a, a drug addict, you know, pissing, j jacking off in the alleyway, you know. <laughs> you got it. Niggas smoking crack in the middle of a park. This, this is San Francisco. It, it's basically the archetype of America, you know. You just can't see it in every, in every, uh, in every part yet. But it's coming. It says the mirth of tabrets ceaseth, the noise of them that, that rejoiceth, that rejoice endeth, the, the joy of the harp ceaseth. They shall not drink drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. <laughs> Doesn't this describe this place, man? Aren't the scriptures like perfectly on point with this? Verse 11, it says, there's a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. All right. So the scriptures told you this thing would happen. Right. But but you get to come on a, on the comment boards and, 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 and on the street corners and scoff, man. And what the thing that we're doing is, is, is to save your life, to warn you of these things that are coming. To try to be a brother to you, but this is an act of love, of charity, to go out there, whether it's cold or burning up hot outside. And and, and what do we get? You know, whatever, nigga. Or or they just they'll they'll do a quick salute and then just keep it moving. And they they be hearers of the word and doers not, essentially. You brothers can read this full article. I'm gonna get a couple more precepts here. This is the uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 12. 
In three, it says, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are few. And there is, there's very few grinders, because all these small businesses are gone, man. Esau is straight up tell, telling you, 60% of those small businesses that close, they're never going to open again. Why? Because Esau, Edom, uh, is it, it, basically monopolizing everything. He's shutting down all the small businesses. And you're going to have, what, three, four, five corporations that own everything. As the brother brought out demolition man you know they had a uh <laughs> there's a movie it goes into it goes into a future timeline where taco bell is the only uh <laughs> major uh restaurant chain man you know and and that movie shows you about predictive programming because where do we have right now all of these restaurants are closing down especially out here in kansas city and one of the first restaurants that i went to when i came down here man i moved down here this place called Rye 39 or something like that. Very fancy place, man, where no Jakes was at, man. There was nothing but white people, rich Edomites. And, and, and man, the food was on point, man. You had fresh eggs, cilantro, good that good bread with, with the multigrain, you know. But the chicken was uh was, was without hormones, and they, was, they were proudly advertising it, too. No probiotics, all, all of this, man. And... and you don't have that shit in the hood, man. See, because because as they were going to in camp, Esau was putting these. He'll put put out the good, the good shit around his people, Edomites, you know. And then he'll make it overpriced as hell. Because I, I ate a meal that man. That shit was almost uh, fifty dollars just for me. You know, <laughs> and and and, uh, and now what's happening? All of these places are being shut down. That's not a major chain, so they're they're not gonna survive this. If they're not already closed, you know, verse four says, "And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low." All right, because because all 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 of the music industry is basically through, man. All all of the merch is gone. Job eighteen and five, and this whole I love this whole chapter, man. Uh. I'm going to read to verse 10, I guess. This is Job 18 and 5. It says, Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shall not shine. Because the, the whole thing of this place that makes America so-called great is, is basically the commerce, the way you can come you can come over here and come up. You can open a business. You can get ahead of Jake, basically. You know, the American dream, they call it. Well, well, now all of these businesses are being shut down. People are being locked into cities. You know, in the UK right now, there's an order where if you, you can't leave the city at all after midnight, period. <laughs> you know, you don't think that's coming to America? So, so the whole spark of this place, the thing that made it great, that made people want to come here, that whole thing is being put out right before our very eyes. It says, the, uh, the light shall be dark in this tabernacle and this candle shall be put out with him. All right. Is that what we're seeing right now? The light of this place is, is is being put out. There's no fire left. People are people are want things to go back to normal, but it, you know what? It's not going back to normal. Verse eight it says, "For he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare." Because who is the reason for this happening? It's Esau, Edom, it's these elites, and now they're causing hell on their own people. And you know what? Their, their own people are going to rebel and revolt. And you're going to have to put a lot of them down. You're going to have to put a lot of them in concentration camps. A lot of, a lot of you Edomites are going to die out here. A lot of you are going to die of famine. And there's going to be pestilences, that real pestilences, not this uh, this bullshit crown royal that, that's going to get busy out here, man. There's going to be sedition among men, as it's written in Second Estrus. So people are going to die by the sword. Wild beasts. <laughs> All right, and and all of this is is done at the hand of your own people. It says the jinn shall take him by the heel, and the robber shall prevail against him. And we know niggas gonna be out here looting. You saw Jake out there during the uh, George Floyd protest. You know Jake was turning up, taking shit, man. Wait, wait till there's no food on people's tables and see what happens. You know. And that goes for these other nations too. These other nations are going to come over here, uh, uh, over here and spoil us. 
It says, uh, verse 10, the snare is laid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way. Because Esau thinks this whole thing is gonna is, is, is his plan, but 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 really it's he's he's falling into the trap, you know. The most high the most high basically had him set his own trap. <laughs> you know, it says uh terror shall make him afraid on every side and shall drive him to his feet. Alright, because right now they're proud, but the most high has allowed their pride to swell up so he can judge them. The same thing he did with Pharaoh and the Egyptians. He, he hardened Pharaoh's heart. He made him very, very proud. Why? So he can bring multiple plagues on them. And even after the plague, he still hardened his heart to chase him across uh, the Red, uh, across the Red Sea, of the Gulf of uh, Suez, I believe. I always get it confused. To do what? To get to have him swallowed up in the in the uh, in the water, man. The Most High is, re is doing the same thing again. All right. So that that was basically it, man. When I when I saw this, um, you know, it made me think of how how far this place has fallen and how highly in regard it used to be, but now it's being made a laughing stock. You know, the scriptures say he would have the wicked in derision, or the heathen in derision. And, and that's what you are now, man, because you're supposed to be the most powerful country in the world. And now look at you, you know, suicide rates are, are at an all time high among the richest people. You know, it's, it's Edomites and Asians that are getting the uh, uh, so-called Asians that are that are getting the bulk of, of the wealth of this country. And they are the ones with the highest suicide rates. So the most high is making a mockery of you, man. You know, so with that, I'm gonna say, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashimi, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakhakadash, Shalawam, Abba, Babal.